Good day, beautiful people of the earth. I am back again. I told you I would see you this week, and here I am. Today, we will be speaking of revolution and breaking down the word revolution, and also breaking down why this is actually a law of nature, the law of revolution, and how it was created by the one supreme being, the great architect, the intelligent designer, the man, what most people would call God, Yahweh, Elohim, whatever name, there's many names, I am that I am. That's what he told Moses on the side of the mountain. So we'll just stick with that one because I don't wish to insult the man. So, I am that I am made the law of revolution. Now, let's get into breaking down the word and see how it applies. Here's the first part, the prefix, R-E, which means back, again. So, R-E would be to come back to do over again you didn't do it the right time so why don't you re-perform your act because you did not amuse the court the first time or let's think about represent how do I represent myself if the court asks me to represent myself does the court wish that I leave and come back does the court wish for me to be presented in a bow that's a good question to ask how does one represent themselves? I'm here, I'm present, let's get it on! Okay, so in the word revolution, the next word is volute. This comes from Latin, everybody knows this one, Volvo. They make great cars. They did not pay me to make this video, but they can pay me for advertisement if they wish. In architecture kind of spiral scroll ionic composite capital of which it is a principal ornament in natural history a genus of shells remember that right there that word genus okay so here is genus it comes from the gender and logic that which has several species under it. A class greater extent than species. In natural history, an assemblage of species possessing certain characters in common by which they are distinguished from all others. Here's a word that everybody should know, Genesis. Again, see gender, the first book of the sacred scriptures of the Old Testament, containing the history of the creation of the apostasy of man. I believe it's very interesting to note that they use the word apostasy of man as that is an abandonment of what one has professed. A total desertion or departure from one's faith or religion. In my opinion, the reason it says the apostasy of man is because in Genesis they were departing the polytheistic worshipping of many gods into the monotheistic worshipping the one true God of Abraham or I am that I am. Here is the word gender. Remember both words genus and genesis reference gender. To beget, see, begin, and can properly, kind, sort. And this is the noun and where it comes from the Greek to beget. To be born, kind of like Genesis. Genesis was the birth or the beginning of all creation. If you come down here to the verb transitive, to be get. Now let's look at this word, 
genius. And I'm just doing this because I really like that movie, The Princess Bride, especially when that one guy says to the other one, you keep on using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. INCONCEIVABLE! <laughs> Sorry, just a little humor there. So genius is a noun from the Greek. To beget. We have been looking at that a lot lately. Among the ancients, a good or evil spirit, or demon supposed to, preside over man's destiny in life. That is, to direct his birth and actions and be his guard and guide. The ruling and protecting power of men places or things. This seems to be merely a personification, a personification, personification, or deification of the pecular structure or bent of mind which a man receives from nature, which is the primary signification of the word. I bet nobody has ever heard that definition of genius before. And this is why, like I said, you keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. INCONCEIVABLE! Here is the word beget, to procreate as a father or sire to generate as to beget a son. So this is reproduction. This is what happens when a man and a woman meet and they find each other attractive and, well, we just won't go there. Th this is rated PG. So now we know that re means back or again, so kind of to start over. The loot is a spiral species, a genus species, and we know that genus means an assemblage of species possessing certain characters in common, by which they are distinguished from all others, kind of like man with the ability, or woman with the ability of thought and reason. Now we come to ION, and they took down my favorite prefix and suffix etymological dictionary. And so now I have to use the substitute. I really hope that they didn't do that just because of the videos I'm making. Because that's silly. That just shows how the power elite actively try and keep people ignorant of what is going on. ION is act, result, or state of. So a revolution is a re-beginning to the genus, the volute, the genus, the shape of the assemblage of species possessing a certain characteristics in common which distinguish them from all others and it's that in action. It's the beginning of that genus in action so literally we are still in genesis this is the beginning of the end and the end of the beginning and you can see this and the results of this everywhere in nature it's called fractals and this is a law of god of the divine of the one true creator of the one true source is birth and recreation, destruction and recreation. And you see this time and time again, and there's no better example than fractals, and that's a geometric principle that we find over and over and over again in nature and society. This is why history repeats itself. This is why if you do not learn from your past, you're bound to make the same mistakes in the future. 
So I usually say the universe is a university. Whatever class you don't pass, you are doomed to repeat. And you can see here that volution is a noun, a spiral turn. So that's all it is. It's just that this thing keeps turning around and around and around and around. And the people who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Let's do the right thing this time. Let's make a better future for the generations that come after us. Instead of keep on going in a downward spiral, let's reverse it, start off at Genesis, and make that an upward spiral. Let's let go of these old gods that a lot of people think of, the gods of money, the gods of time, the gods of status, who am I going to be in society, the gods of intellectual thought. Let's let all of these preconceived notions of how the world works go and let's start a new revolution and enact the law and the will of God which is do no harm that's all it is just do no harm and how hard could that be and if we did that together we could create a better world for not only ourselves but future generations thank you for spending this time with me today I am just conspiracy, and I just wish to conspire with other good people on this planet to leave a better world for future generations than the world that we all grew up in. Thank you.